Nothing to see here. Portugal just lost 1-0 to Morocco to a 40-second minute goal by a player who was born on 6-1 and wears the number 19 jersey. Let's start with 42, shall we? Win 2022. 20 plus 22 equals 42. The winning nation of this World Cup will be awarded 42 million. The beast reigns for 42 months. Morocco make it to their first ever World Cup semi-final due to a 40-second minute winning goal. France just won the recent World Cup final 4-2 and made it to this year's semi-final due to Olivier Giroud scoring a winning goal exactly 42 weeks before his birthday. Croatia lost the recent 2018 World Cup final 4-2, but they made it to the semi-final of the 2022 World Cup after beating Brazil 4-2 on penalties. Keeping Brazil on 76 World Cup wins, 7 times 6 gets you 42. Argentina were involved in the Falklands War that began on 4-2, and they played in the first ever World Cup final in which they lost 4-2. Interesting that the World Cup final is a day after Argentine Pope Francis's 86th birthday and Vatican City was founded on the 42nd day of 1929. Oh, and I'm sure the Basilica being struck twice by lightning on the 42nd day of 2013, right before Francis became the Pope, is a wild coincidence. Just like the fact that Argentina won the World Cup in 86 and he's about to turn 86. And Argentina have played 86 all-time World Cup games so far. Albert Pike predicted World War III, okay, with his letter to Mazzini. The Illuminati plan for three world wars, okay. Albert Pike died 4-2. Yep, 4-2. Portugal have scored 61 World Cup goals all-time, 61. They got to 61 goals after beating Switzerland 6-1. They stayed on 61 goals like I said they would. Okay? 61 is the 18th prime number. 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. Remember Ronaldo? Yes, Cristiano Ronaldo, who signed for the Red Devils at age 18. And 18 years later, we signed with him at age 36. And he was born on the 36th day of the year, and 3 times 6 equals 18. Well, can you not see what this celebration is? Are people really that blind to not see the 666s six, six, that he's putting up here? To not question it? This number 19, who was the hero for Morocco today, just going to deny it? I've told you, red is the second horseman, symbolizes war and bloodshed, green is the fourth horseman, which is death. I said whoever wears the red and green today will win. Morocco wore the red and green, and they won. Portugal's coach stayed on 67 wins, and he got his 19th loss. Morocco advanced to six wins and seven draws at the World Cup. 67 is the 19th prime number. Number 19 for Morocco scores Morocco's 19th all-time World Cup goal. 19 is the 8th prime. This was Portugal's 8th World Cup appearance. Ronaldo stayed on 8 World Cup goals like I said he would. The first World Cup was in 1930. The Georgia Guidestones were 19 foot and 3 inches and they came down 42 years after they were erected. And they came down on 7-6 on George Bush Jr.'s 76th birthday, and 7 times 6 equals 42. The 2014 World Cup began on George Bush Sr.'s birthday. The 2018 World Cup began on Donald Trump's 72nd birthday. The 2022 World Cup began on Joe Biden's 80th birthday, but we all know that's just a coincidence. As I mentioned... The 1930 World Cup final finished 4-2 and that was between Uruguay and Argentina, both nations that have a sun in their flag, just like the Society of Jesus. 193 is the 44th prime number. Ronaldo just went out exactly 44 weeks after his birthday. Argentina won their first World Cup 44 years ago in 78. They're going to be playing Croatia 
in the semi-final, who've won four out of four World Cup penalty shootouts. Portugal stayed on 57 points. 57 points, guys. 57 days before Ronaldo's birthday. And Ronaldo has now not scored a goal in a World Cup knockout game in exactly 570 minutes. In Gematria, Qatar gets you 57. Nothing to see there. Morocco moved to 3-2-0 at this World Cup and Portugal to 3-0-2, leaving Ronaldo on 32 major trophies and he broke an international goal-scoring record after scoring three goals in Man United's 3-2 win versus Spurs. The GOAT Tom Brady was in attendance for that game right after he retired on the 32nd day of the year. Tom Brady won Super Bowl 51 on Cristiano Ronaldo's 32nd birthday. The Society of Jesus, their logo has 32 rays, just like Argentina's flag has 32 rays. England, they went out of the World Cup the same day as Portugal. So England went out of the World Cup on the same day as Portugal. We know Ronaldo sinks with England, but look at this. England stayed on 32 World Cup wins. And it's no shock, guys, that they went out with a plus 36 goal difference. 666, the 36 triangular number. Argentina won the World Cup 36 years ago. And France knocked out England, okay? France now have 131 goals scored. 131 is the 32nd prime number. 32nd prime number. Man City won last season's Premier League in dramatic fashion by winning their last game of the season, 3-2. Remember Aguero's moment, getting Man City the first ever Premier League? Yeah, the Argentinian. Aguero! Aguero nailed it, didn't he? To make it 3-2 against Queen's Park Rangers. France win today against England with a 78th minute goal. 78 was 44 years ago when Argentina's coach was born and the referee who coached the 78 final, Argentina won 44 years ago, is now 78 and was born in 44. But it's all just one coincidence, what I present. All this stuff here, this satanic symbolism doesn't mean anything. All right, me saying that Morocco were going to win this game and not concede means nothing. And Harry Kane to score and then say he was going to miss the penalty is also a coincidence, of course. So Harry Kane has played 80 games for England. He's scored 53. 8,053 is the 1,012th prime. Harry Kane, 80 games for England, 53 goals, got this record on 10-12, the 10th of December. The same Harry Kane who was born exactly 79 years after World War I began. He was born 28-7. 79, guys, is the 22nd prime. Harry Kane was born exactly 22 weeks after Bobby Moore and Harry Kane captains England in the 22nd edition of the World Cup that was in 2022. Harry Kane missed the penalty because he had to stay with this record of 80 games for England, 53 goals. That's why he missed the penalty. That's why I told everybody who messaged me saying, is Kane going to score again? Do you think he'll score the penalty? No, he won't. He's going to miss. This is why. This is the stuff that I do that people dismiss. All they're going to say is, you said England would win the World Cup. No, I said they had the best riddle in my opinion. I didn't say they were going to win it. All right? I've revealed deception better than anybody with this World Cup. I've shown you it's satanic. I've shown you all of the celebrations. When you read my book, you're going to see that I'm bang on. But expecting me to be right all the time is naive and fickle. We're not designed to be perfect. I ain't going to get everything right. I've got the majority of these World Cup games spot on. My codes afterwards when I'm wrong are supreme. All right? I talk about 42, Olivier Giroud scores the winning goal exactly 42 weeks before his birthday. This guy scores the winning goal after 42 minutes. Croatia win the penalty shootout against Brazil. 
by winning 4-2. You can dismiss it as much as you want. England's only World Cup win came in 66. They won the final 4-2, the year the Church of Satan was founded. 666 is the number of the beast. Number 6 lifted the World Cup in 66. After winning the final 4-2, the beast reigns for 42 months and the number of the beast is 666. Nothing to see here. This guy born on 6-1, their king born in 61 and now he's 61 years old and Portugal stayed on 61 World Cup goals. Yet in the previous game, they won 6-1. They scored six goals against Switzerland, but they couldn't score one goal against Morocco. And Morocco's so amazing. No, how many Moroccan players did you know coming into this World Cup? Two? The goalkeeper Bono, pure mockery. Like the lead singer from U2. Lots of U2 songs are literally about a one world government. Okay? It's time to wake up, guys. See why I'm doing what I'm doing. You think I'm doing this just to win people money? I don't even gamble. $10 a month. 35 cents a day. What do you want from my website? What are you expecting? To get rich? To wake up all your friends? Because you want me to be perfect about everything that I present before it happens? And then get all upset and depressed if I'm not perfect and ignore everything that I do? All the stuff that I've revealed? All the games that are perfectly coded? Perfectly? The games that I've got wrong in this World Cup, I've rectified in play by calling the exact script. What do you want for $10? What else are you going to do with that $10? Buy yourself a pack of cigarettes? Buy yourself a Domino's pizza? Buy yourself a pint and a bag of crisps at the pub? What are you going to do with that $10? Place a bet without having any knowledge of what you're doing? Buy some lottery tickets? All right, what are you going to do with it? I'm sharing sacred knowledge every day. I've got an incredible family on this website. Yet people dismiss what I do. Because most people are never going to see this. They can't accept it. They're in denial. Well, I know who I am. I know I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as my saviour. And next year when everything kicks off, alright, when everything kicks off, notice England got their 20th loss in a World Cup and stayed on 22 doors in 2022. Just know next year in 2023, Super Bowl 56 has given it away with the scoreline 2023. That whole hell's going to break loose. Let's see how people react and see if they're dismissing the sacred knowledge then. Cheers, guys. Much love. And thanks to the real people out there who support me, not the part-time truthers who are compulsive addictive gamblers who don't really care about the truth. They care about the ego and the bank balance and that's it. Good luck to you. Much love, guys.